Hello everyone, and we're going to do another <clears throat> run of Jeopardy on the PlayStation 2. Let me get started here. From the Sony Picture Studio, this is Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny. Put on your thinking caps now, folks, because it's time for another challenging game of Jeopardy. We've got some really interesting first-round categories for you today. Let's take a look. Historic people. Balls. My oh myan. Asian capitals. Okay. Animal groups. And our last category? Acting. Oh, okay. Player one will begin with you. Um, let's let's start off with acting for two. In nineteen ninety eight she turned forty and played a forty year old and how Stella got her groove back. Um, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna say. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I want to. It's either Angela Bess Bissett or Whoopi Goldberg. I'm going to try Angela Bissett. Angela Bissett. Very good. You pick again. This star of A Time to Kill was voted the handsomest guy at Longview High. You might want to contact him. Who is Matthew McConaughey? Exactly. <clears throat> Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. You're entitled to wager between five and $1,000. You're entitled to wager between five and one thousand dollars. I'll wager a okay, thousand. Okay, here's the clue. Don't tell mom this X Files star was in. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. <clears throat> Who is Christina Applegate? No. It must be, uh... I'll try David Duchovny. Exactly. Yes! This actor directed himself and wife Trish Vandeveer in the 1974 film The Savage is Loose. Who is George C. Scott? George C. Scott. Precisely. Pick again. In 1998, this film director made his Broadway acting debut in Wait Until Dark, and that's no Pulp Fiction. Who is Quentin Tarantino?
Precisely. Like again. Animal grips for two. As Roger Miller pointed out, you can't roller skate in this group of buffalo. What is a herd? Definitely. Player three, your turn. Animal groups for 400. It's a group of finches, or just one hanging from a bracelet. What is a bird? No, that's not right. Sorry. No. Here's what we were looking for. Okay, charm. Player three, you're still in control of the board. Animal groups for 600. A group of these birds is a mustering. We guess they muster up courage for some baby deliveries. What are storks? Right. Player one, it's your turn. Ask your nanny and she'll tell you a group of these is a trip. Nobody? This is what we wanted. Goats. Let's go over to Asian Catapults for two. Manila. What is the Philippines? What is Russia? Very good. Rangoon. What is Yangon? What is Myanmar? Correct. Take again. Phnom Penh. What is Cambodia? Precisely. Pick again. Beirut. What is Leb what is Leb what is Lebanon? Right. We're not splitting these, we're collecting them into a group, a husk. Mm, 
what are what are what are dogs? Nice try, but that's incorrect. No. Is that it? Anyone? This is what we wanted. Hairs, okay. Let's try my oh my end. Correlating this system of measuring time to ours, the Mayan one starts in 3114 BC. This is what we wanted. The calendar. Player one, you're still in control of the board. Balls. In baseball, the number of balls you need to get a base on balls. What is four? Exactly. Four. Okay. Player two, it's your turn. Balls for 400. In tournament play, this sport's two and a half inch diameter balls must be white or yellow. What is tennis? Correct. Yes. Player one, what'll it be now? This type of store is indicated by the sign of the three balls. What is a pawnbroker? Yes. Player three, it's your turn. Let's do historic people for 200. With the ancient quotation marks. The first U.S. Secretary of the Treasury, this man is pictured on the $10 bill. Who's that? Who's Alexander Hamilton? Correct. Player one, your Keene, New Hampshire, is known for manufacturing miniature and precision ones. What are ball bearings? Very good. Your choice, player two. Balls for a thousand. This racket court sport was named after the sound the rubber ball made when it hit a wall. Nobody? This is what we wanted. Squash. Player two, you're still in control of the board. Historic people for 400. This Greek's oath is administered to those about to enter the medical profession. Who is Hippocrates? Yes. It's your turn, player three. Okay, historic people for 600. A cousin of Trajan, this Roman emperor built a second century protective wall across Britain. Who is Hadrian? You bet. Your choice, player two. Mayo Mayan for 400. The Mayans domesticated turkeys, ducks, dogs, and these pollinating insects. What are bees? Right you are. Over to you, player one. Peninsula that was home to such Mayan sites as Rio Beck, Decan, 
and Uzma. Anyone at all? This is the correct question. In the 18th century BC, this ruler's code governed Babylon. This is the correct question. Seven years after crossing the Alps, he reached the gates of Rome with his troops in 211 BC, but didn't get in. Who was Hannibal? Well done, yes. Okay, player three. My O Mayan for 800. Mayan art is classified as pre this. What, what is Colombian? Right. Yes. The final answer on this board is, the Mayan's principal unit of currency was this bean. What is the cocoa bean? That's it. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. Player one, you're off to a fine start. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the double Jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. Here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. I'm ready. Rubbish. Bodies of water. People eat that. Burt Reynolds. Hmm. Those dreaded story problems. And our last category? Man to man. Pretty interesting categories. This round, you start us off, player three. Those dreaded story problems for 400. A 20 count book of 32 cent stamps costs this much. This is the correct question. 640. Bodies of water for 400. The Tower Bridge in London crosses this river. What is Thames? What is Thames? Right. Over to you, player one. Let's do Burt Reynolds for four. Burt attended college on a scholarship for this sport.
what is football. Correct. Pick again. In the April 1972 issue of this magazine, Bert filled out the folder. This is what we wanted. Oh, that's right. Cosmopolitan. That's right. I couldn't remember the name. Bert appeared in two Cannonball Run films and in three installments of this car chase series. What is Smokey and the Bandit? Correct. Bert's musicals include At Long Last Love with Sybil Shepherd and this 1982 one with Dolly Parton. What is the best little whorehouse in Texas? Correct. This 1972 film, set in the South, is considered Burt's dramatic breakthrough film. What is Deliverance? Correct. The book Fashionable Food tells how to make a truly awful salad with a banana and this cinema snack. What is popcorn? Right. Chitty grubs are large insect larvae, savored and named by this country's aborigines. What is Australia? Correct. All right, player three, what'll it be? People eat that for 1,200. These fleshy growths that top roosters' heads are blanched, dipped in batter, and fried for use as a garnish. What are coxcombs? That's it. Player two, you choose. Man to man for 400. Talk show host David or a varsity athlete. What is Letterman? Hey, you're correct. Player one, it's your turn. LaRousse reports that the moray type of this is served cold with garlic mayonnaise. What is an eel? Right. Player two, you choose. Let's do people eat bat for 2,000. Secreted by these animals, ambergris is used as a spice in the east. What are whales? Exactly. Player one, it's your turn. Yeti. Hmm. 
This is the correct question. Oh, the abominable snowman. Player one, you're still in Famous 1939 movie role for Jack Haley. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Who is Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz? That's it. It's the chief reporter for a TV newscast. This is the correct question. The Anger Man. Player one, you're still in control of the board. Agreeable term for one who approves of every suggestion made by a superior. What is a yes man? Exactly. If you would, player three. Rubbish for 400. This kitchen device compresses garbage into easily disposed of units. What is a compactor? Right. A compactor. Player two, your turn. Rubbish for 800. This rubbish synonym can also mean a group of puppies or a stretcher to transport the wounded. What is a litter? Right you are. If you would, player three. Give me rubbish for 1,200. Answer, the daily double. Player three, could we have your wager now? Okay, here's the clue. It's the trademark name for a brand of large metal trash bins. Diving into one can be dangerous. What is a U-Haul? Regrettably, no. Take a look. Here's the right response. A dumpster. Those dreaded story problems for 800. If Cowboy Bob has 3,200 feet of cattle in his herd, he has this many head. What is 800? Precisely. Pick again. Those dreaded story problems for 1,200. It's the number of degrees the minute hand moves when going from 12 to 3. Is that it? Any? What is 90? Definitely. Player 2, it's your turn. Those dreaded story problems for 1,600. If Tom's picket fence used three inch wide pickets, he'd need this many edge to edge to cover a 12 foot length. Here's what we were looking for. 48. Player two, you're still up. Rubbish for 1600. This Australian slang term for a trash man is also the last name of Swedish actress Greta. What is Garbo? If a dieting two-ton elephant lost 10 pounds a week for a year, he'd weigh this much. This is the correct question. 3,480 pounds, wow. A Dutch word for boat pole 
gave us this word for a large flat barge for hauling garbage. This is the correct question. A scow. In area, this Canadian bay is more than three times as large as all the Great Lakes combined. What is the Hudson Bay? Correct. Pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. You'll have to wager a minimum of five dollars. Um... Five thousand. Okay, here's the clue. This large lake is the chief source of the Nile River. What is Lake Victoria? Right, pick yes. Less than half the size of the Pacific, it's the third largest ocean. What is the Atlantic Ocean? No, sorry. No. Oh, well. What is the Indian Ocean? Yes. The Indian Ocean, okay. And to wrap this board up, the Sea of Crete is the southernmost part of this sea, an arm of the Mediterranean. This is what we wanted. Aegean Sea. And that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. No question about it, you're hot stuff, player one. <laughs> well, thank you. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category and then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. Museums. Go ahead, make your wager. Nine thousand. Good wager to make money. Here is the final Jeopardy answer. The Conspiracy Museum opened in this Texas city in 1995. What is Dallas? What is Dallas? Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player three, was... Quite the gamble, player three, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Yep. Good for you. you. Got it right. Player two, what was your question? Wrong. Oh, Austin's no. wrong. How much did you wager? Your question, player one, was... Dallas? Yes! What was your wager? 
and I am the winner. Great effort, everyone. What a game. Congratulations to our winner, who really racked up a tremendous score today. Player one. Thank you. Thanks so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now. Bye-bye. See you guys in my next video.